Hey everyone, today we're making quinoa. Um, I don't know, I forgot what I was going to say about it. I think it's from Canada because it has a Q in it. It's like Q-U, like Quebec. But I have no idea. And it's pronounced quinoa. It sounds like uh, something a First Nationer would say. So we're going to make this. This is actually a seed. It's a grain. I've never eaten this in my entire life. I don't even know what the heck it is. But healthy people like to eat it, so I'm going to try and make some. So you're supposed to cook it like rice, but I don't have a saucepan because it's full of Peruvian beans at the moment. So I'm going to use this giant heavy skillet. See? Pretty big and heavy. So according to the directions on the bar, Right there is more. Here, you think? Can you see this? Here. Uh, I guess not. Never mind. But according to the directions on the box, you put one cup of quinoa for every two cups of water. You bring it to a boil, uh, reduce to a simmer, cover, and cook until all the water is absorbed. About 10 to 15 minutes. Kind of like rice. So check this out. When done, the grain appears soft and translucent, and the germ ring will be visible along the outside edge of the grain. What the heck is a germ ring? Do I want to eat a germ ring? I don't think so. But let's make it anyway. Anyway, look, it's seeds. Looks like seeds and stuff. Like the birds would eat that. And here is two cups of water. that. I have no clue what it's going to do. Now we got to kick it for 15 or 10 to 15 minutes and then, no we don't. I forgot. That's why people invented instructions. Uh, we have to cook it until it boils and then we have to simmer it for 10 to 15 minutes. <coughs> Okay, in part two, or as the French Canadians say, part deux, uh, we have to cook up some baby spinach, uh, scallions, garlic, and olive oil. So, let's do that. Okie dokie. So here we have uh, two garlics cloves. Should be two, but I have three because I like garlic. This should be two scallions, but I don't have scallions, so... I I just have a little remnant of a brown onion that I'm going to use. <coughs> Some baby spinach. And the juice and zest of one lime. I mean, one lemon. Ta-da! Ding! See, I'm done. <coughs> so I chopped up the garlic, and I chopped up the onions, and then I washed the baby lettuce. I mean, baby spinach. And the... Quinoa is ready to go. Is it too dark? Look at it, it's all fluffy and stuff like in the picture. Hang on a second. I'll get my flashlight. Look, can you see? Do -do 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 -do. It's a dancing. The spotlight's on you. Anyway, it's all fluffy like the picture on the box. So I think it's done. And there are little ring like shapes all over it. So I guess that's the germ ring. I haven't tasted it yet. But uh, now we have to cook the spinach and all that other stuff and then combine them together. Alrighty then. There's olive oil in there. <coughs> kind of a little hard today. <coughs> Focusing the camera. So we're going to throw some spinach. Throw some uh, spinach in there. Oh, it's a little 
water on the sink. It's still wet. Doesn't like the hot olive oil. There's oil and water that might be for this. So we have the sink here. Now we're going to throw in the onion. Now we're going to cook it until the spinach will. There's a little spoon action here. Apparently you don't want to brown the onions. You just want to wilt the spinach. It happens very, very quickly to spinach. doesn't like frying pan. So that's done. Now we're going to add the garlic. Now we cook it all up. Wow, it's burning. It's burning. But the fire's too hot. Darn it. Look at it, it's burned and stuff. Wow. Chewy, delicious, I am not. Look, I burned it. Did you know you could burn spinach? I didn't. But apparently you can. Ta-da. <coughs> Okay, so I've added the spinach and whatnot, there it is, to the quinoa, because it's easier that way, because this is a bigger saucepan. Now you just mix it up and saute it, get it all nice and warm. Where's the nice spotlight? Right there. Just mix it all up. Then, we're going to squeeze some lemon on it and add some feta cheese. And then we're going to suck it down. Okay, here's the lemon. I keep trying to say lime. In Spanish, uh, lemon is a uh, lime. So we give it a nice little squeeze aroma. A little squeegee action on here. Put some uh, lemon juice all over this baby. Oh yeah. Yeah, get in there. Oh yeah. Ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, get the seeds in there too. Alright, we put some juice of the lemon in there. I don't have a... I have a grater. Ah. Oh, dang it, I dropped two seeds in there. I have a grater, but I can't find it, so I'm not going to put the zest in it. Instead, I'm going to turn the fire off. And uh, add the... Feta cheese. It is the feta cheese. There you go. Check that out. Put some good old feta cheese up in there. Um, everything in this delicious succulent meal is organic. Because everything except the uh, olive oil. Because olive oil costs an arm and a leg. And organic olive oil costs two arms and two legs. So I'm going to give that a little toss. I'll give it a better toss when I plate it up. There we go. Doesn't look very appealing, does it? And it doesn't <coughs> smell very appealing either. The feta cheese had like an extra benefit to it. It made the food smell like feet. Seriously. Those two plates of food smell like two feet. So I hope it tastes better than it smells. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to take a quick bite. See what happens. You hear me gagging and stuff? That means it's nasty. Let me get some spinach in there. Mmm. Hey, now. Dang. This is surprisingly really good. I think I put a little too much lemon juice, but it tastes like a really good Italian meal. I don't know if it's Italian now or what, but it tastes really dang good. The cheese is Greek. The spinach is American, I guess, or wherever spinach comes from. And the quinoa, who the heck knows where that comes from. But it tastes Italian. It tastes like really darn good. Seriously, if I had some bread sticks right now, with garlic bread sticks, dang. Yep. So, happy cooking. Au revoir.